a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roof's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Come on up. Max, dear, for my friend. Payne? If you need to get out of here in the morning. Max, I'm one one. Sorry, I'm okay. Run! Anyone there? Max, about what happened. I will. Be ah. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? There was a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. This is the pain residence. Dr. Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? 
You killed her! No, I can't. Some bullshit! You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. I had tried to run from it. Edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle. Like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you. Drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. 
All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Guess maybe. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. by nature, but it pieces me out. Hoffman's waiting in the van. The hardware's been bad. As soon as the guys get Jackie Brown in there taken care of, we're done. Okay. I'll round up the crew, make sure... The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beat. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. Enough chit-chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him, die! How long can it take? They're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. We need to wrap this up. Coffin wants us to move. There! Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning.
My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. We're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest monster body count ever. Theater's guests. bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming.
You're Max Payne. Afraid so. Max, I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Very good show. Very funny. Baseball Bat. The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episode 165. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's Girlfriend. Yeah, She's not my girlfriend. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak! <laughs> Jesus Christ, apocalypse now! Got some heavy shit here! Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them... <laughs> Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. T, the whole shit! You 
You're not even trying! Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hear the track! Shut up! Shut up and die, Russian! My hero! You saved my life! I could kiss you! Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened, an echo of the past, an old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted, alternate reality. Noir, York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him. To find my girlfriend, to save her. Sorry, I woke you. Shh. It's a secret. You must tell no one. You better answer that. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you. 
We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Raymond, shoot the kill! You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Put it down now. Ah. Drop your weapon. Ah. My hero. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out what was going on. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Hold it! Mona! Something was barring the door from the other side. Oh no, you won't! Get out! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. Okay, let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighborhood. He was trespassing. Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? 
My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. <laughs> no. No. Put it back on here. My lady... Stay. My lord, please, Listen, forgive me. Spying. My lady. Kaufman wants his taken care of. Here. Let's just find a guy. <laughs> oh. A nice young man coming to see an old lady like me just passing through ma'am such a nice boy not like the ones upstairs they say they're renovating but it's too quiet they're up to no good the doctor gave me pills for my hip but it's all better now you should take them you look a bit pinched dear they're in the bathroom with all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping Toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I'd found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They've been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple, not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now. Nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more coming behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Leave a message. Hey, where are you? You're late again. Look, this insomnia crap isn't fooling anyone. I know what it's like. I, I just want to help. You should come to an AA meeting with me. Thank you for calling Dangerous Liaisons. For Candy, press 1. For Sandy, press It's two. not this... Oh, yeah. You press 3. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Damn, Here we'll go. take cover! Ah. Look out! Ah. Coward! Die, die, die! Ah. Ah. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Hell, they want to clean me out. the door from the outside. This is terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. You know Ed, the janitor. Boy, Ed. Mm-hmm. 
night. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights. I don't know what you're saying. of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I was part of some elaborate game, complex for its own sake. <laughs> Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner, or the glint of binoculars in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Open the door! <coughs> oh, oh, bless you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. You should be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Goddamn slime bags, open up! There are yeah. people trapped in here! <laughs> uh Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door! You coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'll take care of this. You stay put. Okay, I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> In your dreams, Juicehead. You gotta get me out of this. Your place or mine. Ah, freeze! <laughs> the gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem.
Come on, we're, you better stay behind. Let's go. Stay close to me. You don't have to tell me twice. job and afterwards maybe I'll do mine I'll cover you from here They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti, is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners, I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence, but that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. Yeah. 
are more fat than television. She has dyed her hair red. Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. It makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I had first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Lords and ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Where do you think you're going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? He keeps driving. I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guard set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Walks across the room, slow. Taking her time like she was a supermodel on a cat. <laughs> ah! 
The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just you! <laughs> They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body. A thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gonna look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. Ah! Shoot the ah! Ah! We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. Just know it. I told you already. We're much better off than. Sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continues. 
Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John, you must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double. That's it. I'm out of ideas, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? Pain! Pain! Ah! Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Down there, he's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Got to Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million-dollar question I didn't have the answer to.